we what we do here is we, we, we pre-train a, a lot of horses. We break in a massive amount. We probably break in over 100 horses every year for various professional yards as lot as well as our pointer pointers, which are hopefully will be sort of investment horses for us to pin hook and resell. Um, we got into it, I suppose, a, a little bit by sort of accident, wasn't it? You, you when we first got together, you had a pointer pointer of your own that you trained from your mum and dad's place. And I helped out a bit whilst I was still race riding. And well, we, you did really well. Won four races with them, we really enjoyed it. And we got a couple more. And we moved on to a, a yard not far from your parents' place. And then we got a few more. And we needed somewhere bigger. And we ended up here at Station Yard about six years ago. And things have just grown from there. And we've been incredibly well supported and, and lucky to have some lovely horses through the place. Looking ahead to this season, we've got about 15 three year olds and sort of, again about 10 old horses, probably 10 15 old horses to go with. So hopefully, they don't have the three horses, but they'll be bunch of them. Yeah, they'll just find a super bunch. And I think across the board, it's, it's our biggest team that we've ever had, which is really exciting. And, and look, as vendors, you're always going to be saying that they're a great bunch, but I do genuinely believe this year that these are the nicest bunch of three year olds we've had because by nature, we've always we've spent our own money. so pot started off relatively small and looking for value and, and things that slip through the net and as we've had a bit of success and, and some luck with the horse we sold the pot's built up and so we're able to spend more on quality three-year-olds than, than we did before and I'm going to say that really shows I think. When we go to the store sales we tend to try and well we try, we try and go through most of them now than we did before. Um, obviously we know probably most of the pedigrees that we're not going to be able to afford to buy but we try at the moment we're trying to buy Big enough scope, enough horse with enough of the page that's in our price range, really, isn't it? I think without doubt. And look, you know, when you're looking to the Cheltenham sales, the boutique sales, they, they, they've got to have scope and, they, and they've got to have quality. You know? and, and, and again, it's a, it's very noticeable when you turn up with one there at those sort of sales and they don't have those sort of bits of X factor because they stand out very much. And, and so, yeah, as time has gone on, we are trying to buy a bigger scope of model because they are the ones that, you know, that sell at those sort of sales. We've had a really good run with, with graduates and horses that have come through and we sold on uh, presence of mind which immediately springs out because he, he he won in America then which you know that I suppose that wasn't the initial plan but he, he was a he was a bumper and novice earth winner for Ollie Murphy and then didn't seem to go on and look he seems to have been rejuvenated by a switch to America. He, he goes off the ground he's a good mover um, in recent times Gary Claremont is another one that, that sold and tax Cheltenham. Um, he's, he's a John Joe Neals, he's, he's a, a bumper winner, a um, novice hurdle winner. He, he actually won a handicap over 130 for him recently. And I know they think that there's a big day in him and, and he's in the right sort of yard for that. Switch hitter would be another one with Paul Nichols. He, he won two races over hurdles last year, won the consolation handicap over at Kempton after the festival. And he looks an exciting prospect for, for chasing. Bridge pointing seems to be moving forward at all times. Uh, I think we've seen even in the short time we've been doing that how much further things have come like the quality has really sort of just started to ramp up as well. Yeah. You know, and, and Hoy Senor and Ergami in the spring, grade one winners, like you say, those exciting prospects have already and, and and I think it's very much an emerging market, you know, and, and, and buyers are looking for value and I think there is huge value at the moment in English point of pointers, you know, there's still that stigma attached to it, but it's getting less and less, but therefore you're buying premium quality horses at much less prices than their Irish counterparts. And, and, and so I really think there's a huge value for buyers going to the sales this winter.